If that's for Jesus, make it better. How many of you are happy to be in God's presence? Are you happy to be in God's presence this morning? Yeah. Um, Pastor Godwin, thank you so much for always. Thank you for this privilege um, to you, um, the team. I do not take this um, moment lightly. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for the support. Please celebrate Pastor Godwin if you love him. sing, I came to worship, you know, get you all into the presence, but um, I don't know if you mind me sharing a few words that the Holy Spirit dropped in my heart while I prepared for this meeting. Is it okay? Is it okay? Right, can we just have our seat in a moment? And as you are sitting down, be praying in the Holy Ghost, right? As you're seated, what? Pray in the Holy Ghost. I'll just share a few words and then we'll take it up from there. We came to pray. All right, we'll sing and we'll pray. All right, and we would, we, would, we would not live without an encounter with Jesus. No, we will not. We will not. What does it mean to mount up? What does it mean to mount up? So I was praying this morning and I had a wonderful time with the Holy Spirit. And I, I just downloaded a few things and I will share and then we'll sing and then we'll pray. I have less than 30 minutes. All right, and then I'm out of here. What does it mean to mount up? To mount up means to increase in size and quantity or quality. Praise the Lord. It's to increase in what? Size, quantity, quality. You want to increase in height. You want to increase in position. All right, that is mount up. Praise the Lord. Now, mounting up is birthed and produced by an endowment of the Holy Spirit that places a distinctive mark upon a man. Praise the Lord. Mounting up is what? Is birthed and what? Produced by what? By an endowment of what? The Holy Spirit. What's the assignment? To place a, dis not, not just a mark, to place what? A distinctive mark upon a man. So in other words, I'm saying, Everybody is doing it, but you are doing it differently. Amen? Praise the Lord. Everybody is singing, but you are singing differently, right? Alright, so, the Bible says, and, and on the last days, he would pour out the Spirit upon all flesh. And then, there's something important. He said, he said, and your young men shall do what? Shall see vision. Now, you're not just like the others that see vision of what people are wearing, of what, you know, people are doing, of what people ate, of what... Um, of their location or their villages but you are seeing visions you are seeing you're having insight into the future economic state like Joseph of, of nations what did I say you're having what visions into what future what economic state of nations so you're not you're not the regular and when they see you when they hear you it is something what different so, 
Mounting up means to be different. Mounting up means to be unique. Mounting up means to have a unique selling point. Praise the Lord. All right. I can not easily identify um, Pastor John if he's seated amongst the crowd. I have to squint my eyes. But when Pastor John is standing on the chair, I don't find it difficult, right, to identify that he is what? He's Pastor John, all right? Clearly, he is visible. This is Pastor John, all right? So, mounting up is birthed and produced by an entunement of the Holy Spirit that places what? A distinctive mark. So, when you go back to school, they see something different. When you go back to your workplace, they see something different. When you go back to, you know, wherever it is, you go back to your homes and your families, they see something different, something different about you. And there's, the beauty about this thing is, unbelievers know when you carry something. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What did I say? Unbelievers, they know what? When you carry something. I was in school, I was just walking, you know, along the walkway. And then somebody, strange, just met me and he said, and they see Holy Spirit for your head. And I'm like, what does this guy mean? It was when I got home, I understood what he said. And then sometime, last three years, I got a new job. And in that office too, a Muslim came to me and said, and they see Jesus for your head. See, if you carry, carry it. No argument about it. There is, what, what did I say? There is no what? There is no argument about it. If it's white, it is white. If it is black, it is black. So it's an endowment of the Holy Spirit that places a distinctive mark upon your life. And, you know, there's, there's something common about this meeting. How many of you have been hearing the word wait, waiting, 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 and waiting? Praise the Lord. It is common, right? Almost all preachers, I don't know, but have, used, have probably used that word, right? Praise the Lord. If I'm not mistaken, am I correct? The waiting time is the processing and the preparation time. And listen to me, it is as important as mounting up itself. Praise the Lord. The waiting time is what? Is the preparation time. Is the processing time. Praise the Lord. And it is what? It is as important. What did I say? It is as important as mounting up itself. It is as important. It is not less important because that is where everything you need, the features, the characteristics, the tools you need to mount up are formed. That is where they are formed. So it is as important. If you say, I want to mount up, I want to be different, I want to stand out. The waiting time, which is the processing time and the preparation time is as important as what you say. And it is the moment where everything you need is formed. How many of you have seen an egg before? Praise the Lord. You've seen, you know, um, the chicken lay eggs, right? Praise the Lord. How many days does the chicken or, or does the egg, you know, stay under, on, underneath its mother, you know, before it hatches? 20 to 21 days. What is happening between 20 to 21 days? There is a forming. There is a what? There is a forming. If it's a bed, the wings that that chick needs to fly, it is forming. The bones needed for, for, for structure's sake, for frame's sake, it is formed during that waiting time. It is as important as waiting. It is as important as mounting up. An endowment of the Holy Spirit. Kai. An endowment of the Holy Spirit. Until you are fully formed, you are not permitted to leave your waiting place. I will say it again. Until you are what? Fully formed. You are not permitted. What did I say? You are not permitted to what? To leave your waiting place. Until you are fully formed, you are not permitted. So many a times, it's not that God is not capable of doing his word. It's not that God is not capable of accomplishing his promises over your life. The problem is, you have not waited enough. So God is true to his word. God is faithful to his word. God has the integrity of holding his word and bringing it to pass. But how much can you wait? How long can you 
do it. And until you are formed, until those features you need for greatness is formed, I beg you, do not leave. What did I say? I beg you, do not leave. It might not be in the car, but for, for most of you, it might be here that you will catch it. But for most of you, when you go to your individual homes and your, and your houses, the process continues and everything you need is formed. So please, don't end here if you don't catch it. I beg you, don't end here if you don't catch it. And then you go home and say, this God is so unfaithful. He said he would, I will mount up. But how much have you waited? And listen to me. There's something I've come to notice. Your waiting time, or our waiting time differs. So, praise the Lord. Our waiting time does what? It what? It differs. All right, for a chicken, it takes 20 to 21 days. For an eagle, it takes 35 days. For an ostrich, it takes 45 days. For their eggs to ash. And I want to encourage you, please stay encouraged. Don't be discouraged by, you know, the fulfillment that you see in the life of the other. It's just like the ostrich, you know, getting angry and getting mad and destroying all its eggs because... 21 days, it has not hash, but the chicken is hashing. I beg you. Our waiting time differs. Our waiting time does what? Differs. Don't be discouraged. Don't call God a liar. God is not a liar. God is not a liar. If he said it, if he said it, he's capable, capable, when enough to bring it to pass, everything, every word he has said, to if he ever said it, if it had ever proceeded out of his mouth, he is capable. If Pastor B meets me and tells me, Joshua, I want to dash you 50,000, I will relax. Abby, because I know that Pastor, Pastor, um, Pastor um, Godwin is capable of what? Of giving me 50,000. But if, give me a small girl. Okay, sorry, you're not a small girl, I'm sorry. But if you come and tell me that, man of God, I want to bless you with 100,000, I will be doubting. Number one, you're not working. Number two, where's the money coming from? Number two, what? Number three, what will you tell your parents? You know, for them to release that amount. So that is how God is. So God is capable. So whatever he says, he's capable. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I will do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in it. But the problem is, how much can you wait? How much can you tarry? How much can you tarry? Jesus said to the disciples, tarry here until there is an endowment. If there is no endowment, do not leave. Tarry! Until there's an endowment. Until there's an empowerment. So Jesus was with his disciples. And then the first thing he did, the Bible says, the first thing he did was he called them unto himself. Just like Jesus has done. Right? He has gathered every one of us here today. And he empowered them. So between your waiting and your mounting up is the formation everything you need, the emotions, the provisions, the connect, the, 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 the relationships that you need to mount up. And lastly, and then we pray. Aye. The waiting time is not sitting time. Praise the Lord. What did I say? The waiting time is not what? The waiting time is not sitting time. The waiting time is not idleness, no. The waiting time is not, it's not less busyness, no. The waiting time is prayer. The waiting time is fasting. And of, um, and of S -S Simeon, the Bible said, who prayerfully waited, who prayerfully anticipated the coming of Jesus, that even the Holy Spirit did not take his life until he saw Jesus. Who prayerfully, prayerfully waited, and prayerfully anticipated while he was waiting. He was praying for the manifestation, for the consolation of Israel. He was praying. And then the next verse talked about Anna, 
who was a widow for 80, I think about 84 years. What was she doing in the temple? The Bible said she was worshiping, she was praising, she was praying and fasting until there was a consolation. The waiting time is consecration. Look at your neighbor, say consecration. Look at your neighbor, say consecration. The waiting time is what? Consecration. Now, Joseph, Joseph knew that someday his brothers will bow to him. But he had to go through the consecration test. He knew. He saw it in a vision. But he had to go through the consecration test. I am encouraging you, my young ones. You can live pure. Praise the Lord. You can what? I was, I was, okay. I was 30 in October. Praise the Lord. I got married in July. And it's not arrogant. But I know it's the message of God and his hand upon my life. I did not know a woman for 30 years till I got married. It's not pride. I'm telling you that these things are possible. I'm telling you that this is impossible if you must carry this thing. I'm telling you that these things are possible if you must mount up. I am telling you that you have responsibility. I am telling you that prayer. I am telling you that fasting. I am telling you that studying. I am telling you that consecration. Are the tools you need? If you must mount up. It's not just waiting. How much can you wait? Will you wait still? There is a fulfillment of God's word in your life. Will you wait? Will you wait? And now, are you aware that on the day of ascension, that Jesus spoke to about 500 people? Praise the Lord. How many persons were in Jerusalem in the upper room? 120. What happened to the 380? God is calling you out today. I want to do beautiful things. I want to do glorious things in your life and in your destiny in 2024. And listen to me. You will not die until you see the fulfillment of God's word over your life. You will not die. No. You will not die until you see it. Your eyes will see your greatness. Your eyes will see your testimonies. Your eyes will see the fulfillment of all that God has promised you. If you must wait, there are responsibilities. So wherever you are, Shenyam Brondos keep at Ikabahai, Aranda Latos keep I in the sky, I kind of cap at Iluskufe, and do sky in the Shanda Kapalataya, and Lato Frecape, and no Sufri Kapalataya. Come on, if you can pray in the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, <laughs> open up your mouth. <laughs> Pray in the Holy Ghost. Something is bending. Something is forming on your inside. Something is forming on your inside. Until you see it. Do not leave the waiting place. Do not wait to let the blood do skin in Manakaya. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Oh, Yasha, Takabala, Takabala. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall be strong. Oh, Radikubiri Anamalata. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. Open up your mouth wherever you are. Talk to your Father. 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 Come on, open up your mouth. Stay up this gift. Stay up this gift. Stay up this gift. Stay up this gift. Let it boil. 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 Come on. Come on. Fan to flame. Fan to flame. Fan to flame. Ashata Kabalakahaya. Ayata Kamana Kabaya. Ashana Nana Kabaya. Ratu Sokobos. Etana Dose. Arata Dakai. Ayashoti Kaya. Arapate Yadabalahai. We be old until we are formed. 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 <laughs> we be old until we are formed. We be old until we are formed. <laughs> we be old until we are formed. <laughs> we be old.
we will wait until we are from we will wait until we are from we will stay until we are from we will wait until we are from we come back until we have strength we come back until we are strength Strength has come. Strength has come. 
is up. I'm going to plead that the trumpeter, please come. Myself, in agreement with Pastor B and Mama and Pastor Joe, we are releasing you and ushering you into your next season. Men will come and look for you where you used to be and they will not find you there. Aye. Men will come and look for you in your low state and will not find you there. As he plays the trumpet, I don't know how well you want to pray this afternoon. I don't know how well you want to prophesy this afternoon. Your words will do the work for you. The Bible says with his word, he framed the universe. With his word, so with your word, you will frame your entire destiny. With your word, you will speak healing to that body. With your word, you will speak deliverance to that body. As he plays the trumpet, as he blasts the trumpet, wherever you are, do not take this moment lightly. Wherever you are, open up your mouth and speak. you please don't stop praying it's a time to fast if you came here with the notion of eating and eating everything I'm sorry for you but you can fast fast with understanding praise the Lord and then the next thing is your consecration you cannot go far without your consecration dear choir I speak to you in the name of the Lord you guys cannot go far. You can't sing, it's okay. People can fall, it's okay, but then. If you choke with consecration, you mess with your entire ministry. You mess with your entire destiny. Yes, I will say it again. I, I am experienced, so I can talk. So wherever you are, everybody lift up your hands. Can you see? 